with uh, final remarks by Dr. Ron Daniels, yeah. President of the Institute of the yeah. Black World 21st Century. Well, Ron. How's everybody doing? Is everybody all right? Yeah. We in a fighting mood? Yeah. We ready to resist? Y'all yeah. don't sound like it. You ready to resist? Yeah. That's what we're talking about. Well, first of all, let's give it up again for Andy Shalal and Busboys and Poets, WPFW, IPS. Let's give it up. Now, we want you to just wait a few minutes. We're almost done. I want to say a bit about us working together, because the brother from Howard University spoke to that, right? Yes, he did. And let me just say this. We ain't stopped and frisked and shot down in the streets and harassed are mostly young people. And since they're the ones who are being affected, they should be at the center and in the lead. And so I'm saying that, you know, I'm a lifetime member of the NACP. I support the Urban League and a number of other organizations. And I don't want to see them, they're on the case. Believe me, I'm saying this constructively. Without them, we would not be where we are today. But there also comes a time when maybe they should step aside a little bit, move over, and yet these young leaders take the lead. The December 12th movement out of New York has called for a gathering in October. I don't know whether that can happen or not, but the, the, lo the, the theme from the night should be young leaders must take the lead. Reverend Sharpton, I understand, is contemplating a march on Wash another march on Washington. And Reverend Sharpton does some really, really great things. Maybe we need two marches. But for sure, whether it's a gathering or a march, we need one that is exclusively led by young people. Let young people must take the lead. Young people must take the lead. And we must support them in that. Now, I'm just going to make this point as an example. At the historic March on Washington commemoration, freedom, freedom, I can't hear you, freedom. Let's get it done. All right, Brother Ron Daniels, long time warrior in the struggle for justice freedom for our people, not only here in the U.S., but around the world. Sisters and brothers, we've come to the end of our program. We want to thank you all for, your, for attending, for being patient, for listening, and for participating. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yeah.